sergeant for the good life When you can taste it You just want more now and I was just been getting this all set up you know I had to build this workbench I had to get all my tools put together and this garage is really tiny let me uh let me just grab the camera and I'll show you so this garage does not hardly fit this little car this is a little car but and so it barely fits but it barely fits so I have to put my bike up here I kind of have to like squeeze my motorcycle in between the car and the wall. Hey, but at least it's really bright, you know. <laughs> Alright, and shout out to Johnny for these pinstripes. You know, he did a good job. I was really impressed with the way he uh, laid it all out in his mind. 
Didn't use any pencil and paper. Didn't take any measurements. Basically, it's all freehand. You know, really impressive. So thank you, Johnny. All right, so let me just update you. So I've been driving it around a little bit, you know, just to the gas station and stuff. And a bunch of people online were saying, hey, get some better shots of the interior, of what the engine compartment looks like. You know, how, what are we dealing with here? So let me just show that to you now. So um, this, the plastic piece that goes right here broke off when I was taking this dashboard off because a long time ago, if you remember, when I took this dashboard out, it's when I thought I was going to be still using the Beetle and I didn't think I was going to be able to use this dash at all. So I need to add windshield wipers, which I why I've left this compartment, you know, this uh, space back there open and accessible. And that's pretty high up on my list of priorities to get this road worthy. The mirror, I tried attaching the Mazda mirror to this, but it didn't quite work. The old VW mirror was all falling apart. Well, it's kind of dark. Um, probably can't see much. Maybe you can, maybe not. But yeah, there's the engine compartment. It fits like a glove. It fits perfectly. It's like an absolute perfect fit. I even have room for, you know, maybe a supercharger or something. <laughs> So this is where I need to do a lot of a lot of work still. So the only piece that's welded in here is this here. It's connected really securely right here and right here. But like this just needs to be the gap needs to be filled in all the way around the wheel wells and around here. And that's gonna take a lot of welding. It's gonna not be fun, really, to be honest. So yeah, this is the new home base. It is a tiny garage. Alright, what I need to do now is cut out a grill. I really don't want to, but when I was driving earlier today, I went up a hill, and only for like 60 seconds, going up a hill in like third gear and it started overheating. I mean, the gauge started, you know, started climbing up, and then I slowed down and it went back down. So, it's real, it's right on the edge, and right now it's only like 70 degrees. If it gets any hotter, you know, overheating way too easily. And here's the thing, in two days, I wanna drive it to a big, a big VW car show, maybe the biggest one in Oregon all year long, called the Bug Run and it's about 30 minutes away. And I think there's a slim chance that I'll be able to go, in this car at least. So I'm gonna try and make it. So, gotta cut hole for the girl. So I'll just do that right now.
cutting the grill. Loud. <laughs> it should it shouldn't take long. Like I'm halfway done already. I told ya. They come out with one, so this is the May edition. Check it out. Can you see that there? Pretty cool, huh? Hey, remember that episode? <laughs> that was a fun one. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the next one. Maybe I'll be at a car show, a big Volkswagen show on Saturday. So I'll take you with me if I if I go. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. <laughs>